Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first four commandments, and now it's time to tackle the fifth, Thou shalt not kill. We've begun talking about whether particular actions can be considered murder, and now it's time to discuss war. Is it murder? Before we can answer this question, again, we need to understand just what a war is. A war is an armed conflict between two or more armies of human beings, usually belonging to different nations, though not always. This conflict always results in the deaths of soldiers, and nearly always, of non-combatants as well, on both sides. The Catholic Church has a beautiful doctrine on the obligations of nations to avoid war, except when the war is morally justified, which can be summed up in the following way. A nation is only justified in going to war against an enemy aggressor when the enemy is already inflicting damage which is serious, certain, grave, and lasting, when there is no other means to make them stop, when the use of war would have a serious chance of stopping them, and when the means used to fight that war wouldn't cause more harm than they seek to prevent. If all of these conditions are fulfilled, a nation may be justified in going to war, and this is how one can tell a just war from an unjust one. In general, both leaders and citizens have an obligation to try to avoid war, because of the fact that all the types of wars that we're familiar with result in horrible injustices being done. All of this is relevant in a way, but the real question is, when you're a soldier in a war, are you justified in killing someone? Is that considered murder? The answer is, sometimes. There are, of course, some complications to this. For example, if you're in the middle of a war, and you spot some guy looking for firewood or something, you're not justified in killing him just because it's wartime. Likewise, if you kill one of your fellow soldiers, one of your allies, that's also an act of murder. The truth is that all the old rules about murder still apply in wartime. Premeditated murder isn't allowed, even when you're in the middle of a war, and following orders isn't a good enough reason to justify it. So, what is it about war that makes it acceptable to kill? Well, remember, in episode 89, we talked about how killing can be justified, or even required, in cases of legitimate defense, of yourself or of others. This has a couple of applications. First, it means that when you're in the middle of a battlefield and you need to kill enemy soldiers in order to save the lives of yourself and your allies, you're justified in doing this. Second, it means that if a commanding officer orders his troops to intercept an enemy contingent, knowing full well that it's probably going to be a bloodbath, he's justified in doing this too, since the objective is not to cause death, but rather to protect innocent people from the enemy soldiers. In other words, both combat and battle strategy in a war are justified, provided that they're done to defend human life. However, it is still possible, even easy, to run afoul of the Fifth Commandment in wartime if you forget these conditions. Next time, what if you're not killing someone directly? What if you're just supporting someone else who's doing the killing? Is that still murder? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.